access to international market can catalyze huge economic growth. But how easy are these processes? Do they create hurdles for small and medium enterprises who want to enter the import-export space? Have they been streamlined to optimize efficiency? Trading across border includes the whole process of exporting and importing goods, customs clearance, inspections, as well as port or border handling mechanisms. There is always a cost or time factor involved in the clearance of consignments, which is dependent on both regulations and infrastructure. Since international trade is essential for any economy, the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade is coordinating with the Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs, or CBIC, and the Ministry of Shipping for implementation of reforms to making this system faster, more efficient and more economical. The process has been streamlined. First off, there is the filing of import-export documents on the online gateway. Then, these documents are examined by the customs authorities for assessment of duty. Then the goods are examined physically. The importer or exporter pays duty and the goods are released. A key change has been moving process online and digitizing as much as possible. Earlier, importers had to approach customs officers for registration of imported goods. With the introduction of ICE Gate Portal, they can self-register their goods online and the digital copy of the bill of entry is sent directly to the customs officer for examination, saving both time and expense. From the ICE Gate Portal, users can access the eSanchit site, where importers and exporters can upload supporting documents for clearance. Earlier, after the examination of imported goods, the importer had to present bill of entry number to customs officer for compliance verification. Indian Customs has introduced automated queuing of bill of entry in customs system eliminating human interface leading to faster clearance. The process of physical inspection has also been made faster with the introduction of iStab a tablet which the customs officer can use to file inspection reports on the spot. Once verifications are complete and the goods are cleared, these can leave the customs area with an e-gate pass as well as an electronic out-of-charge copy of the bill of entry. This has made the whole interaction both contactless and paperless, saving time and effort. Today, whether it is a shipping company, whether it is an importer, whether it is a custom broker, there is a QR code which is embedded on the shipping bills and bills of entry, which can be seen and authenticated through their device, which ensures that there is nothing wrong in the documentation. Of course, it is also signed digitally by the, through the electronic mode of the customs. Besides all these processes, information has also been made more accessible. A single portal, the Compliance Information Portal, has been launched which centralizes all trade-related information. A big change is the implementation of schemes like Direct Port Delivery and Authorized Economic Operator. Under the Direct Port Delivery Scheme, goods that do not need examination are released directly from the port. This leads to fast-tracked clearance and low transactional costs. Under the Authorized Economic Operator Scheme, the importer or exporter benefits through the faster clearance of their consignments. In the last six years, India's rank has gone up by 79 places. As per Doing Business Report 2015, India's rank was recorded as 142, while in Doing Business Report 2020, it was recorded as 63. Reforms under all indicators have contributed towards this growth. This is a journey, but we are moving in the right direction, creating change and improving processes, facilitating ease of doing business, making our economy stronger. 
the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India.